today's collab is very special and near and dear to my heart. If you follow me, obviously, because you're watching this, um, you would know that I'm obsessed with coffee. I love coffee. It just helps me get my day started in the right way. Um, I love just the routine of it and just taking my time and relaxing in the morning and having my time to myself without my phone or anything like that. So today's video is in partnership with Le Curto Coffee Maker and I'm so excited. I've been wanting an espresso machine for such a long time and I was browsing through Amazon and I found Le Kurtz and decided to reach out and see if they would want to work with me as I love coffee and I'm blessed that they are taking the chance to work with a small creator like me. So let's get on into the video and just another thank you thank you to Le Kurtz for working with me. Okay, so when you first open the box, I wanted to show you while the machine is not in here so you can get more of a glimpse on that what comes with the top of the machine as a protector, which you will see in a second. Um, it also is at the bottom, so it's supporting the bottom of the machine while it's traveled as well as these two sides um, filled with like padding. So everything is protected as well as it being fully wrapped in plastic and all that good stuff, which I will show you. I have sitting right on this counter here. The machine came beautifully packaged, all covered in plastic wrap. So much um, protective like silicone and padding and all that good stuff. So it's definitely protected and no dings or anything from shipping. So that's awesome. And yeah. And it comes with some goodies so like I said this was at the bottom of the box as well and it's also on the top and it just keeps it protected while in the shipping process which is super helpful and mine was left without any scratches and for reference sorry my cat is eating the plastic she's literally it lived in the US and this came from Canada and it was here within less than a week and it actually came a day early, which was exciting. And as I said, it just is very well protected. This was on the top as well as the bottom. Really, really protecting that machine as well as the sides of the box were protected. And obviously it comes with all this plastic and covering, which is really good because as you are spending, you know, a certain amount on this machine and it may not be in your day-to-day um, -day budget. You wanna make sure it's protected and will last a long time. And they definitely do a good job at this. And then in this box here, um, I already opened everything, but we just have our little coffee scoop as well as the tamper at the bottom where you press in your espresso beans, or obviously they're grounded. Um, but yeah, so we just have one cup, two cup, and then we have the little froth nozzle, which you just twist on right here. And then that's good to go. So I will just place these up here, get all my tools out of the way. And then in this back component over here where you fill up the water, you also are given this little uh, look hurt um, silicone piece to go right here under your machine um, and that's honestly pretty much it the only thing that I took off the machine um, was how to froth the milk it was on the side when I got it and then the first use was a sticker right here so I just used extra uh, styrofoam from the box kept the stickers or if I just want to keep this to show others how to use it and they can make theirs as well. So this completes the setup of the machine. Um, you just add water in the back, super simple. There's a little max line that you fill it up to, which I've already gone and done because that's simple and you guys don't really need a video on that. 
but let's get started and make a latte from home. I thought I would show you how I make mine as well as an unboxing. If you guys want to purchase the machine and twin with me, that would be awesome. And you guys can make coffee just like me. For today's espresso, I'm going to go with the Cafe Bas Bastello. Hopefully I'm saying this right, I just bought it the other day. It is espresso and I was actually looking up all the reviews and th these came out really well saying that it tasted better than Starbucks and a bunch of other coffee shops and I will say it is pretty good. It smells amazing, so let's get started. All right, as I said, I already have the water in the back and I'm actually just gonna turn it on because I wanna give it a little preheat while I'm uh, getting my coffee situated. So, let's see, there we go. Okay, now it is preheating for me and I'm just gonna go in with the one cup, nothing too crazy because it is, you know, midday here. So now we're just going to take this off very lightly. And what's nice is it locks right in place so if you don't have it right, then you will obviously feel that it's not locking in place and you can just readjust and it's super easy. But I'm just going to scoop my little bit of espresso here. And then I'm just going to place it in this little um, cup. I don't know all the proper terms yet, so please bear with me. The one cup of the ground espresso beans and then um, what this has that I really like, it's like this little divot here and then an arrow, so it's super easy and you just pop it right in, sits right in place, super, super beginner friendly, I love that. So lock it back in place. Like so, and up here, so obviously the buttons up top are super simple, power, one cup, two cups. And then this button right here is when you froth the milk and steam it. So we're just gonna click our one cup. Listen to that beautiful sound. Beautiful. There is our little cup of espresso to turn this into a nice iced latte because those are my favorite. Also, if you have any recommendations for lattes, what are your favorite, um, favorite syrups, all that fun stuff, please leave it below because I'm always looking for new stuff to spice up my coffee because now that I have this little baby, I am definitely not going to a coffee shop. You're going to take your milk of choice. I just have whole milk here. Sometimes I do uh, non-dairy milk. Sometimes I do regular milk. Kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. I don't add too much, so you know, it doesn't really affect me. But now we are just going to press this little button on the end, like I said, for when you go to froth your milk. And then I just got this cute little creamer mini pitcher, I don't really know, but it was from Target for like five bucks. Just bought it the other day, so if you want a twin, you can. And then we are just gonna turn this nozzle here. And begin frothing and move the cup all around. So we'll let that sit for a moment as I get my cup with ice and all that fun stuff. I usually take a mason jar and I will line the inside with caramel and then put some ice. And yeah, let's do that. All right, so we have our caramel sauce right here. Sorry, I meant to say this earlier, but in the box, it um, comes with a coffee and tea recipe. Super, super helpful. And it has a Italian caramel latte, white mocha, hazelnut, cold brew, plenty of options as well as the instruction manual, of course, which is so easy, and it has this little QR code on the back. And then these quick little guides and steps are so easy to follow with pictures. Definitely recommend they make this, the Kurt really makes this process so easy for you and beginner friendly. I like to do kind of a good bit, try to get it like all around, that way it's like even. 
put in with some ice. I saw a video where it told you to add the milk first. So that's what we're gonna do. And then for ice drinks, you add the espresso on top and apparently it's just supposed to get less watery. So we'll see about that, but just pour that espresso in. How beautiful. And it's the perfect amount because if you're like me, and can barely finish a small coffee. This is perfect for you. And just mix around. And then last step, I like to add just a little bit of some vanilla syrup. Maybe like half a cap full, not even. And that is how you make a iced caramel vanilla latte, caramel macchiato, uh, with me and my LaCurt. Uh, espresso machine. Cheers guys and go make your coffee or go order a machine and have a great day.